Friday, Mr. Gray. That's a lot of money, Gilroy. Better pick up Paul Smith to go with you. That about empties our vaults. I'm glad we had three days' time to prepare it. I didn't feel any too easy holding back those deposits from going to the city. Don't worry about that. Everything will be all right. I hope so. We have to kill these guys to get the money. Why? For two good reasons. First, because it's the boss's orders. And second, because that kid's a nephew of Lightning Bill Carson's. And we can't afford to have any living witnesses. Lightning Bill Carson's nephew? Yeah. They're a fine time to be telling us this. I don't want no part of him. You can count me out. Yeah, on me too. Wait a minute. I'll drill the first man that attempts to leave. Are you going to stick with me through this? Oh, uh, all right. Spread out. He's around here someplace, man. Scatter out. We've got to find him. No chance of finding them now. Let's get that money and report back to the boss. Come on.
Well, the kid got away, boss, but uh, we found his gun. You blundering fools. Do you realize what this means? We'll have Lightning Carson on our trail in no time. Yeah. Well, suppose you cut up that dough now. We don't want to be here when he shows up. Yeah. Does Carson know any of you? No, I don't think so. Did the kid recognize you? No. Well, that's some help, but not much. It's a good thing you found this gun. Now, I'll tell you what I want you to do. You take the gun and... Sorry, fellas. I didn't know you were in there. Not much you didn't. Had a lot of fun with your fish, didn't you? Well, make fun of my fishing all you want, old boy, but I'm going fishing and not even the tornado is going to stop me now. That's your sister, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I guess that's the end of the fishing trip. Make me a reservation on that plane for Los Angeles tonight. Right. I gotta stop on the way over and see a very good friend of mine. Actually saw before you started chasing Paul Smith. Well, we were resting under the trees after our long walk back from the mine. And we saw this car with Paul and Gilroy coming. Then we heard two shots. And as the car slowed down, Paul jumped out of the car with a satchel in his hand and started to run away. We chased after him, but we lost him in the brush. But Jim there found his gun in the bushes. I'm convinced that from the evidence you've just heard, there's no doubt that Gilroy was killed by Paul Smith and that Paul Smith stole the $10,000. I therefore pronounce Paul Smith guilty of murder and robbery and offer a reward of $5,000 for his capture, dead or alive. No, no. Well, I thought the boy that's not the way to the money now. Senora, senorita, you are in trouble. My name is Jose Fernandez. I would like very much if there is something I could be doing. Taking you someplace where you are wanting to go, maybe. Well, that would be nice of you. Please, senora.
Maybe now you will be feeling better, eh? Thank you, Jose. You've been a wonderful help. <laughs> well, I'm one of the best helpers from all Mexico. Maybe sometime I can work for you, eh? Oh, but we have no money. <laughs> for you, I will work for nothing. Well, we couldn't do that. You're a total stranger to us. Am I? Maybe I'm not quite such a stranger after all. Oh, Bill. Uncle Bill. <laughs> Uncle Bill. <gasps> Thank heaven you're here. Sit down, Katie, and take it easy. Take a word from Paul. Not a word, have you? No, but then we shouldn't expect to. He knows by this time they're looking for him. Oh. Uncle Bill, you didn't believe what those men said about Paul, did you? Of course not. It does look rather bad for him, though, doesn't it? What do you know about those fellows? Nothing, except they're idlers, hanging around the saloon and gambling halls. And they always seem to have plenty of money. Mm. I want you two to listen carefully. I'm going to arrive in this town the next few days, probably, as Captain Bill Carson. And proceed with the usual investigation. Actually, I'll stay here. But as Jose, I'll probably want to use your barn occasionally. So could you put a mirror and a light out there for me? There's already a light there, and I'll get a mirror for you. Good. Cashing for me these checks, please. You thinking about buying out one of the stores, Mr. Uh, Fernandes? <laughs> oh, no, I'm not thinking of buying anything. I, I'm getting ready for the gamble. Oh, you like to gamble? Oh, si, senor. I'm one of the best gamblers in all Mexico. You don't say. Oh, si. Well, you'll find plenty of action over at Hogan's place. <laughs> that is what I'm liking. This action, what you call my middle's names, huh? Gracias, señor. Adiós. Things like that around here. 
Oh, I'm sorry, Senora. There is nothing I am doing. This is a country woman of mine. We are just having a good time. I have plenty of money. I... Oh, you want to have a good time. Say, some friends of mine are going to have a little poker game. Would you care to join them? You are sure these are honest men? Oh, of course. They won't give to me the cross doubles? No, they're all friends of mine. Come right on over. Okay. Boys, you don't mind a friend of mine sitting in with you, do you? No, no. The more the merrier. Right down. Yeah. They will take this, huh? <laughs> the idea? I want to see if this money is good. Well, anybody can see that money's good. But sometimes when even the good money is bad, you know. But this one is all right. I know all about money. So I'm coming along and getting the feet wet. Let's call it. Card. Two. Well, to you. It's going to be what you call the honest man's. Three cards. Oh, I'm very much afraid it is very good. Tough luck, partner. I hope it didn't break you. No, oh, well, it's not breaking here. There is much more where that came from. Oh, look. That is not nice. What do you care about an old man? Come on, let's play. Oh, but it is not nice. You wait. <laughs> that is not nice for doing to an old man. Why is it any of your business? But I'm making it my business, amigo. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? Don't I tell you that it's not nice? Sit down, amigo. You go back to sleep. There will not be more. sometime. All right, we play. We play one night short. Huh? I'll see that that hombre don't give you any more trouble. What I care for trouble. Trouble she runs from me just like water from the back of the duck. I got lots of trouble. Trouble with the police? I don't tell nobody. You mind your own business, I mind yours. The car. Amigos, I'm very sorry, but I have what you call the house fools. Well, I guess that about cleans us up. <laughs> I'm the best cleaner up in all Mexico. Yeah. Looks like that goes for this country, too. <laughs> I will now put this where the little mites will not get him for the midnight, huh? Would you call this gentleman for the dinero? And the wind is not Thank you. Just a minute, partner. I'm the proprietor here. I'm sorry you had a little trouble. Trouble? <laughs> Oh, that is nothing. Well, I'll see that they don't bother you again. Going to be around long? Well, I will be here so long as I win. And you'll be coming back? Well, why not? I, I'm winning. 
Next time try the bigger games, you might make a killing. <laughs> oh, I know. You, you mean I would win some more, eh? What else could I mean? But I go now. Would you tell the boys that I would give them a chance to win their money back when you're on it? All right. right. What are you two doing up this time of night? Well, we thought we heard somebody prowling around. Well, that's funny. I thought I saw someone as I rode in just now. You know where he is now, so that should relieve your mind. Well, now, what do we do, William? Right now, you're going to bed, both of you. Get a good night's rest. Go on, run along. Oh, i got work to do. Good night, William. Good, good night, night, Uncle Bill.
excuse me, Mr. Gray. What is it? It's that Mexican, Jose. He's asking for the serial numbers of the stolen money. Any reason why I should give them to him? No. Leave the door open when you go out. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Gray won't permit me to give them to you. Why do you say no? I guess he thinks it's none of your business. None of my business? Whose business is this? A government official or the police? A government official or the police, eh? Oh, all right. I'm sorry, I can't help you. You men in the bank, you are always so sorry. Yeah. Yeah, but why should he have been in the bank trying to get those serial numbers? Well, I guess he ain't the only one in town that's been doing that. Yeah, but he's the only one in town that's friendly with Paul's people. What makes you say that? Well, the other day in the bank, Sally came in, she started to speak to him. He gave her some kind of a look and she froze up. You know, Chuck, we better keep our eye on that Mexican. I'll leave that up to you. Okay. I'm Carson of the Federal Department. Glad to know you, Mr. Carson. Sit down, won't you? No, thanks. I just wanted to list the serial numbers of stolen money, if you have it. Oh, yes. Uh, naturally, I expected a visit from your department, so I have it ready for you. Anybody else have this list? Yes, the police do. Oh, by the way, I had someone asking about those numbers yesterday. Who was it? A Mexican by the name of Jose Fernandez. Know anything about him? No. Nothing much except that he's a gambler. Well, I'm going over to the sheriff's office and see what he's got to offer. And uh, I think it would be best if you didn't mention the fact that I'm in town. Just as you say, Mr. Carson. Plain case, Carson. The boy is probably on his way to some foreign country to have a good time with the money. What kind of a reputation did he have before this job was pulled? Excellent. That's what puzzles me. Not a better or more trustworthy lad in the whole district. I kind of feel sorry for his mother and sweetheart. Hey, and me too. Why, they saved that fellow could shoot the eye out of her in a wildcat. Yes, and he'll name the eye for you. Hmm, a fine bunch of gunmen. Why don't you go out and play with your paper dolls? Well, what are we going to do about it? Blast them. The first chance we get. Yeah? And just who's going to do this blasting? You leave that to me. Come on. Well, I suppose you want to get acquainted around town. Yes, and you know the kind of people I want to meet. Sure. You'll find most of them over at Hogan's gambling place. Would you mind going over there with me? Not a bit. You didn't think there would be, did you? I wonder who that was meant for. Not you. Well, nobody knew you were in town. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think I'd better postpone this slumming party of mine until tonight. Just as you say. Well, I'll see you later. Go on. Well, I tell you, there's something wrong with that Mexican. Yeah? First, he tried to get those serial numbers. And then I didn't like the look he gave Paul's girl when she tried to talk to him. You're pretty chummy with him. Why don't you find out what his racket is? All right. When he comes in, I will. There he is. 
Now is your chance. What's this I hear about you asking for the serial numbers at the bank? What you are hearing? What's this your business? The boss wants to know. The boss? Who is this boss? None of your business. Answer my question. Oh, maybe you give me the questions, I give you the answers. Maybe yes, maybe no. Say, it won't do you any good to get tough with me, hombre. Oh, no? Well, just remember, I'm a pretty tough guy myself. Yeah, so I noticed. Why don't you come clean? Maybe we can work together. I don't think you are wanting for working with Jose. No? Why not? Because whoever is the partner from Jose is going to find himself in plenty of trouble. Huh. Well, if you mean police trouble, I've got plenty of that myself. Goes for the rest of the place, too. Hmm. Well, what is this business you want talking over for me? Hot money. Do you know anybody across the border that can handle it? <laughs> Do I? <laughs> Do I know? That's the time, Chuck, you are hitting the head right on the nail. Hot money and me, we are brothers. Where is it? You'll find out all about it in a couple of days. Come on over and join the boys. Why not? The boys always make me win. <laughs> Jose is all right, fellas. He's going to take my place in the game. Ah, well, what we play, huh? Wait a minute. Before we start, let's have a drink. <laughs> well, thank you very many, but I'm not caring for a drink just now. Well, sir, you'll drink for what I tell you. Well, you see, if I drink, I can't see the cards, and if I can't see the cards, maybe I won't win. What do I care? Well, you win or lose. You drink this and like it. Oh, please, no. Why, you... Wait a minute. Be no shooting in here. Did you see him draw that gun? Yeah. Almost as fast as Lightning Bill Carson. Faster. All right. Well, I'll be waiting outside for you. And if you've got the nerve to leave this place, you better come out shooting. When the hand from that clock is pointing to 10, I will walk through that door. And I'll be waiting for you. I have the bad luck. Jose, come in the office. I want to talk to you. Oh, but, but these gentlemen in their game, they'll wait for you. You won't be long.
You don't like him, do you? No, I don't. But I don't think he's what he pretends to be. Ah, forget it. Because from now on, he's going to work with us. Have a seat. Love it. I understand you can pass hot money. Hot money, cold money, he's all the same with me. But who tell you this? Chad. Why he tell you? Are you this boss? Or are you just assistant boss? Well, you can call me what you like, but can you or can you not get rid of that money? How much you got? Ten thousand dollars. Mm. What'd I get? Ten percent. Ten? <laughs> Ten? What a businessman you are. Ten percent, fifty percent I get. I'll give you twenty. Make it twenty-five, Jose takes you. All right. You meet Chuck around 10 o'clock tomorrow morning on the road to Batesville, and he'll talk it over with you. Okay. I'll be on the spot's Johnny. I was so worried you might miss your appointment. Well, this is one appointment I'm not going to miss. Is it that important, Uncle Bill? Exit Bill Carson and enter Jose. Unless I'm badly mistaken, I'll have that stolen money in my hands within an hour. So, oh. adios and don't worry. Jimmy, what you are doing here? I might ask you the same thing. I will answer you right away quick. I'm going for to meet Chuck. Say, where did you come from? There wasn't a soul on that road a minute ago. Hmm? You, you've been watching this road? Well, no, but I just came through there. You came through this road and you are not seeing me? <laughs> oh, Jimmy, you must be having what they call trouble with the eyes. You can't see so far from the face, huh? Well, I'm on my way. Adios, Jimmy. Take care for the eyes. It's ten minutes. Ten minutes? That's the trouble with you Americanos. You never learn to say... No, but we got business to take care of. Did you get set with Hogan? Oh, sure, it's Mike. Where's the money? Not so fast. I got a couple of questions I want to ask you. <laughs> Chuck, you are a funny fellow. First I am too slow, now I am too fast, eh? What's this question? Say, uh, how long is it going to take you to change this dough? Maybe a day, a week, maybe so a month. Can you it? Where are you going to check in Mexico? What's this your business? You asking me for doing a job, I'm doing my way. You don't like the way I don't, maybe you don't like the way I, goodbye. Wait a minute, wait a minute, don't get sore. I'll get you the money.
Here it is, Jose. On the level, old man. How long is it going to be before you change this? On the level, Chuck? Two days. Well, look. Be careful with that around town. Oh, that's the money from the banco, eh? Yeah. And Lightning Bill Carson's in town. Lightning Bill Carson? What do you think I care for him? Yeah. Did you ever see him draw a gun? <laughs> Say, he's lightning fast. I am just so fast like him. Maybe so. But I doubt it. Chuck, if ever you see Jose meeting this fellow Bill Carson face to face, you will see something. <laughs> That's the way I like to hear you talk. What you want me to do with this money when I get him changed? Well, meet me back here in about two days. And if you put this deal over, say, the boss has got a big one coming up that'll cut you in. You can figure I'm cut right out from me now. I'm going to do a good job. Adios. These numbers check all right. But you never told us where you got the money. I got it from the boys that stole it. They asked me to get rid of it for them. Then you know them? Of course. These men are my very best friends. Then you can arrest them and Paul can return. Oh, well, not yet. Why not? Because I'm after a bigger game. These men are about to pull off another robbery. I plan to catch them and their leader red-handed. When will this be? Well, I'll know shortly. But then your worries will be over. Did you get the dough? Well, I'm having a little trouble, but two, three days more will be all right. Now, look, we can't be... Now, what about this big job you told me from? When we are going to do it? Hmm. Sunday morning. The boss knows there's going to be $50,000 in the bank. That's $5,000 for each of us. The boss gets the balance. And he's got it fixed so we can get it easy. What do you say? How this boss, he fixed things so easy, huh? Well, never mind about that. Are you going to be with us? Oh, sure, but uh, when are you going to meet this boss? Right after we pull this job. Where we are going to meet for start for the job? Right here. And look, wear some old clothes. You know, overalls or something. Oh, so nobody will know who we are, right? You got the idea. Bueno. I tell you, boss, I think that Mexican's a phony. What makes you say that? There's only one man that can draw and fire like him. That's Lightning Bill Carson. You mean to tell me that Jose is Lightning Bill Carson? That's right. You're crazy. You've just got a grudge against him, Jim. If he were, you'd be in jail before now. Maybe he's waiting to find out who the boss is. If you take my advice, you'll call off that job. The money won't be there after Sunday. The job goes through as planned, unless you can prove that you're right. I think I can. If you can arrange to keep me out of the holdup. Where are you going to get this information? Over the Smith Ranch. After the job, you take the men to the hideout. But don't divide the money till I get there. I still think you're crazy, but if it'll make you feel any better, go ahead. Thanks. What brings you here on Sunday? Oh, I just thought I'd drop over to find out if you'd heard anything. Well, Carson's working on it. Say, there's nothing like a nice, quiet Sunday to pull a job like this. Sunday? Well, never before am I working on Sunday. <laughs> oh, but this one is different. For you, my friend, I will do anything. Because he was sent over to the Smith Ranch to keep his eye on Carson. Oh, this Jim. With what is the matter from his eyes, he will never be able to see this man Carson. Why not, Jose? Because he's lightning Carson himself. Jimmy, 
I, I am this fellow, Bill Carson. <laughs> you must be grazing on this local weed, Jimmy. What's the matter with you? You go crazy like a cucaracha, huh? I'll show you how crazy I am. There's the clothes he's been wearing. And here's the junk he's been putting on his face. <laughs> what is this I put on my face for? Make me look handsome, eh? <laughs> what a man I am, huh? Well, I'll show you what a man you are. Here we are. Now, don't anyone move. All right, boys. I might as well admit it. I am Carson. Now, I suppose we all settle back and take it easy and wait for that boss of yours to arrive, huh? Put your hands in the air. <laughs> so the cashier of the bank is playing outlaw, eh? You ain't got nothing on me. Now we'll, we'll see about that. Would you mind walking over with me while I get my hat?
Isn't there something I can do to persuade you gentlemen from taking this fishing trip? I've decided to go fishing and there's nothing, not even the cyclone, going to stop me now. Well, good luck. Well, Paul, we're off in the cloud of dust. 